I think a lot of us were thinking we were going to still focus on heaven and hell with this episode, but I'm glad they went the approach they did. We have two parts in this episode, and both of which are hilarious. They are simply great. First half of the episode. Satanya, we get to see the side of Satanya. Like, we've always known she's not really a demon. I mean, she tries to act like a demon. She tries to act like she is this evil, corrupt bitch. She's not. And that dog has been a reoccurring theme of him stealing her melon bread. And sure, you could say that joke got repetitive, but there was a payoff with this episode with that. As the dog gets taken away by some animal catchers, and Satania is just like, I can't have this dog like being put into a pound and then probably killed if it never gets adopted. So she adopts it. It's this whole thing where we get to see Satania try to act like, oh, well, I'm just doing this because, you know, I need a familiar. And she can't have it, obviously, in her apartment. It's this whole game of her just kind of wandering off, being sad. She she can't get a new apartment her dad's like no nah, this isn't gonna work and I love seeing that because all this season we've seen her act like she hates the dog act like this dog is the most annoying thing but at the end of the day she's willing to share her melon bread with this mutt that has been a pain in her ass this entire season and to see where she is and just see who she actually is I really like that she is really an angel in her own way she has a sort of malicious attitude but seriously she is such a nice character at the end of the day and I loved just how now they are partners I mean Gab herself does something that it shows Gab in another light. I mean, Gab has been sort of, she has this hint of angel-like, but it's at the core, she's more or less a demon. And the fact that she sees, because Satania leaves a piece of paper of her contract, I believe, for her apartment, and she sees, oh, my boss is actually the one who runs this apartment complex. And she says, listen, old man, I'll work one extra day a week if you allow my friend to, or if you allow the tenants in this apartment building to have animals. And it's such a sweet scene because everyone's looking at Gab like, there is still a bit of angel in her. But but she's still that kind of demon-like character. And it's just so interesting to see how far Gap is willing to go for her friends, but she'll still put on that face of, I only care about myself, and get your damn mutt out of the cafe. And just seeing how they did that, there was some character growth there for Satania, but also it just shows that Gap isn't all just a demon. She is such a good person, and I love that. It was funny, it was sweet, but it was also heartwarming. It was just something that it made them just skipping out on some more heaven-based content that we could have had, made it totally worth it. I love seeing just the Satania stuff with the dog, the big payoff really think about it as like you know the dog was just a reoccurring joke gag but to see where it ended up in the season before it wrapped up I'm actually really happy with the outcome and just the gab payoff with the first half I thought it was splendid but I also have to say we get to see I forget her name Tapris or Tapris or whatever her name is the reoccurring angel that was only in one episode so far she pops back up and I wasn't expecting much as when she was in her own episode it didn't make me laugh but holy hell watching her try to learn the internet that was funny she's calling a mouse a hamster she doesn't know what the hell is going on and she tries to learn how to use a damn computer and ends up learning basic programming. When Gab like asks her like, so how far are you? And she's talking about C Sharp and Java and PHP. I'm just sitting here thinking, holy hell, these angels are clueless when it comes to our world. Like that was really where the comedy was. The first half being the heartwarming stuff. The second half being just the insane comedy. This episode I thought was near perfect to be honest. Just in terms of pure enjoyment, artistically, voice acting, everything was perfect. Obviously, I mean, it always is is for the series but just how they balance the heartwarming and just the payoff for certain comedic gags to just the insane comedy with a side character who I wasn't a big fan of it just blended everything so seamlessly and I really am excited to see what they do for the final episode, what they're going to do. I mean, really, there's nothing they really need to give in terms of an ending. This is a comedy series that doesn't necessarily have something it needs to wrap up with a bow. But the payoff that they've had for such slight side elements has been amazing to me, and I'm really excited to see what the hell they do for the final episode. But for anyone who watched this episode, what did you think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you think it was just okay? What was your favorite moment in the episode and why? I'd have to say for myself, it has to be that dog payoff moment. The fact that Satania takes in this dog as her familiar. I just love that moment, but overall the episode I thought was near perfect. But let me know your favorite moment, and before you leave, hit that like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.